A pre-cut glass splashback is an easy way to improve the look of your kitchen. They come in a variety of colours and sizes and they'll help protect your walls. I'll show you how to install one yourself in no time at all. Now I've already given this wall a real good clean with some sugar soap so I'm ready to measure up. My splashback is 900 millimetres wide so half of that is 450. Now I'm just going to measure my hob and put a centre mark on that. So 580, half of that is 290. So we want to square that mark back to the wall. So let's just put a mark on the wall, 450. And 900. Cool, now we've got our left and right edges of our splashback. Now my bench top is going to support the weight of our splashback, but if you were in a different situation where you had like a freestanding oven, you'd need to screw a support to the wall to take the weight of that splashback. Now I'm just going to apply some masking tape about two millimetres away from the wall. That's going to ensure that I'm not going to spill any silicon over our nice bench top. Now we're going to use silicon to attach our splashback to the wall. Now this is really important that you get the right type of silicon. You want to be using a translucent neutral cure. Great, now what this is doing is actually sealing the bench from the wall. Next we're going to put the silicon on the back of our splashback. Now just before we rip into putting our silicon on the back of our splashback, just throw a towel or some cardboard underneath, we don't want to scratch the surface of that. Now and a few things you should know about your silicon, you want to come in about 50 millimetres from each edge and we want to have about a 30 mil diameter, round about an inch, and about every 50 millimetres. We're making circles with the silicon so that when I push the splashback against the wall this will create suction that holds it in place until it dries. So now just take your splashback and gently lower it onto your silicon that's against the wall. And gently push that up. Make sure you're on your pencil marks and push that on the wall. Now give it a good old push. After a few minutes just recheck that you are on your pencil marks. Okay now that's it. Now you just want to leave that for at least 24 hours before you touch it at all. As you can see our new splashback has freshened up the kitchen and it was incredibly easy to do.